Hey everyone, I'm going to be talking about FanDota, one of the projects I worked on at Flatiron School. FanDota is a web app uh, to follow esports teams that play Dota 2, see stats about their team, and track their matches. The project was developed using React and Ruby on Rails as the backend. The project also makes use of the Open Dota API. Here on the teams page are teams that I've seeded into the database. Let's say you want to uh, follow or unfollow some teams so we can log in. So I'm going to log in as Nick Ken, password. And now you can see that we've been redirected to uh, my teams page and we now have uh, follow and unfollow functionality. So let's say I want to unfollow uh, Beachy Gaming that's now gone from uh, our my teams. But now we have the ability to follow BG Gaming again. There it is. Um, now let's see some information about like one team in particular. If we click on a link from the card, we can see their current roster and the last couple of matches that they've played. Since we have access to the Open Dota, Open Dota API, we can do uh, a lot of things. In this case, I've taken uh, the match IDs append them to links and now we can just click on this link and uh, it'll take us to another data resource called Dota Buff and it'll show us like build orders, GPM, players, who won, who lost, uh, all sorts of information. Uh, one thing I wanted to highlight was the usage of local storage and JSON web tokens, stuff that uh, norm users will normally see. So let's say we close the tab or if we want to refresh, we just log into localhost 2001 again. And we're still signed in as uh, Nick M. And it'll save our session information in local storage and encrypt some of that information using uh, JSON web tokens. So if we go to application, we'll see that uh, it saves the user ID but encrypts the information using uh, JWT. Um, so there's Fandota, hope you like it. Links to the repositories are in the description below. Peace.